Hey everyone, hope you all are doing great. Welcome to my channel Pega Hut with another video. First of all, I would like to thank everyone who liked my last video and also subscribed to my channel. Someone requested me to cover the concept that we are going to learn in today's video. So we are going to learn about the export and import functionality of Pega. How you can export your code in Pega from one environment and import or deploy the same code into another environment. So to achieve this, what I have done is I, I have got the localhost, uh, which is my personal edition. And uh, I'm going to, uh, you know, do the coding or create an application or something like that. And then I have also uh, facilitated one um, cloud instance. So what I'm going to do is I will show you how you can uh, export this application from here and import this application to another environment. Like how in, in, uh, in, the, in the corporate world, what we do is if the CI CD pipeline is not uh, stay, uh, installed, that's uh, for people who are new, CI CD is nothing but continuous integration and continuous delivery. It is a software which uh, enables you to take your uh, product from one environment to another environment. Generally, in the, in the world, we, we take from dev to uh, SIT to UAT to staging to production, right? So that is called CI-CD pipeline. That software helps us to you know, do that without doing anything manually. But let's say some organization, the CI-CD pipeline might not have uh, built. So what they need to do is they need to do manually. Or this will also help you when you are, you know, doing uh, uh, using a virtual machine in Pegapedian, and then you are uh, uh, trying to work something, and uh, you know, next day you come and everything is gone. So this will also help you to export and keep your backup, so that if something is gone or Pega environment is reset, then you can also, you know, import them and start your work without any problem. So that's the whole idea why I have, uh, you know, thought this video would be very helpful. So without further delay, let's straight away go and start creating one application so that I can show you how you can take uh, to the uh, virtual uh, machine or, or another environment altogether and deploy that. So what I will do is at the moment. So as you as you could see, I have already got an application right here. I've got account, I have got customer, I've got onboarding, right? Uh, let, let, let me do one thing instead of creating that application, right? So what I'll do is I will take the backup for this one uh, itself. So I don't need to go and, you know, create an application for those, those who wanted to uh, understand how the application is getting created. I have another video dedicated to that, which is already there in my channel. You can go and I'll, I'll probably give a description uh, linked in the description so that it will be help for you guys. Now to take this application uh, to the virtual machine or another environment, what we need to do is first we need to go and find the product for that particular application. Now to do that, so there are like uh, the easiest way that I always try to search instead of you know remembering where exactly in the record explorer or if you can always go to say so if you see this is record system admin product you can always go click on record and click on system admin and then click on the product file now I will take two minutes just to quickly explain about what is this product file so that you would understand so uh, consider this product file e is a bag which hold everything that you create. Now you just take the bag and deliver over here. So automatically whatever is you created and packed here is going to be also over here. So that way, so product file is nothing but a place where you include everything that you have created and then eventually you take that and deploy it over there. So now in, in product file, you got multiple section. I'll just take two minutes just to quickly explain so that you would understand. So at first, when you create an application, obviously you need to take this application, right? Now over here, if you go to the definition, this is this, this is the starting point, right? Now over here, that's what we have, uh, um, uh, that's what we have called is Pega Hot 010101, which is the application version. Now here we have, because we have created for the first time, here we have told included as include associated data which will include all the data instance, include rule history, include data types. So everything, whatever you have created as part of that application will be included. And in this section, what, why we uh, haven't mentioned the rule set over here? Because this, this first line 
is going to include everything. And because you have created this uh, application for the first time, so it will, it will take everything along with you. But going further, let's say you already taken this and deployed. Going further, you are just changing the code with a different um, uh, rule set version. Then this, this section will be helpful uh, to just include those rule set version that you want to push. Because once you take in the application, you don't need to take that application again and again. Right now, this is the place where you put all the rule set. This is a place where you put all the class instance include. Let's say you created a data type, right? Now that belongs to a class. Now you put the class instance so that it will automatically uh, take all the details over there. And here it is uh, help. It is going to help you to take the individual instances. So what does it mean by? So in Pega, we have got two different things, right? So if I just open uh, one class. So let's say if I open this class, right? So if you see this class doesn't have a rule set version, right? Now, if I open a rule, uh, let's say I'm opening uh, uh, a data transform, which uh, which is part of, which is belongs to your rule set version. So PZ hut 0101.02 is your rule set version. But if you see this class, it doesn't belong to a rule set version. So this is called rule instance. This is called data instance. So to, uh, so, all the rules that is belongs to the rule set uh, version will be automatically part of this uh, this first row, right? Now, I mean, generally, not, not this first row, sorry. Uh, I mean, in the second time when you deploy. So you need to mention that, okay, uh, let's say, for example, over here, you want to take only this rule set version. You will say uh, PZ hut 0101.02 in the rule set section. But all the rules that is belongs to this um, uh, uh, rule set without having any version, they call it as a data instance. Now those data instance has to be mentioned over here. Now what you're going to mention? So every rule you go, there will be pzins key, which is over here. So if I search pzins key, you need to mention that particular data instance. But because we have created this application, and this application is already here, which is taking all the data, all the history, all the data type. In this scenario, I don't need to do anything. So I hope it is clear. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this. So this, this is called product file, right? So product file has got an ID, which if you if I hover over here, it will show product name and it is called product version, like how, how we have a rule set name and version. And the product file is always belongs to a rule set. Remember this one. I mean, I meant to say rule set version. So that's why when I um, first created, it will be 010101 automatically created by Pega. When I'm going to create it, uh, you know, manually next time, then I have to manually create this product version. And then I have to, I know which version I'm taking. Then I am going to, uh, you know, check in the product uh, into that version. But again, that is a separate discussion. It's about the product file. I would surely create another video to make sure you guys understood. But uh, for this section, so straight away, you know, try to learn the import and export functionality, uh, export and import functionality. So to export this product file, what I need to do is I need to first, uh, uh, I mean, it depends to whether you want to do preview uh, product file or not, but preview product file will tell you, okay, how many rules are going, but let's straight away for this session, let's straight away click on this create product file. And then uh, here, uh, let's say, uh, we will uh, name it as PZ hot here. If you, if you see it, please enter the design name of jar or zip file. So it's up to you whether you want to put a jar or zip file. So I'm going to put a zip file here and I'll say, okay. Now what it will do is it will try to see all the rule set, whether it is locked or not. In this instance, as you could see, these two rule sets are not locked. So my first do, uh, thing that I need to do is open this rule set and lock them in. That's the first thing I need to do. Without that, it won't be able to export the product, right? Now I have locked this and also I'm going to lock the other one, which is PZ hut, right? This person cannot be locked because it has all checked out record. Yes. So if so, basically I was working something and there are three checked out rules, right? That's why I cannot uh, lock this one. So what I need to do is 
to uh, uh, check in everything what i need to do is you know you got a bulk action right so here you would go go and you know do a bulk check in of all the rows if you wanted to uh, see so uh, maybe i would have gone a bit faster here but uh, look at this uh, uh, blue area right that's where you're going to find all the check uh, checkout records now here i'm going to do a bulk check in uh, so I'll select, 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 double IP, double IP, and double IP, and then I'm going to check in. So then automatically it will be checked in. Now checked in is done. So now my next uh, move would be to refresh this quickly, and then lock and save, right? So Now, whatever it was complaining before, the product is referencing unlocked rule set version instance, which is these two, and I have locked it now. Now, again, what we, what I need to do is I, I need to go to the product, create the uh, product file, and over here, I need to press OK. So now you will see it will start creating the zip file, and it will tell me to download. See, uh, zip file has already been created. Now, I, I'm going to download it. Now, let's say, for example, in the, um, like I just told before, uh, so in the real time, let's say for example, you do not have a CI CD pipeline installed and you are deploying the product manually to higher environment, you can manually take this and people, the freshers, those are working in the uh, cloud instance and you know the how the cloud instance get uh, 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 so, uh, sometime reset and you lose all your hard work. So to uh, avoid that, if you do not have a personal edition, you are using cloud instance, then to avoid that, what you can do is you can take the backup and then always keep it with you even if it it gets reset and all all you can do is import and then start working from where you left now for this uh, instance so i will just open the folder so i'll just show you that i have already downloaded this uh, pz hut right now this is it that's that's all i need to do from this environment now i need to import over here so to import over here first obviously i need to log in uh, so once I log in, I'll just show you what I need to do. So here again, my favorite, go to configure, search for all option. So that this is the cloud instance, which I'm going to import so that you will see the changes that you have done in the local house should be over here. So I, I go for Dev Studio application distribution and import. That's the uh, place where you should go. Now here I will click on import. Just uh, uh, I'll show you. So uh, once that import will happen. So just also Dev Studio, oh, sorry, my bad. Dev Studio over here uh, and uh, sorry, again, uh, Dev Studio over here, application and then distribution and then import. This is where you need to go. I mean, I just searched there. This is where you need to, you can go manually. Now local file, local file, I'm going to select the file, whatever I've created, right? So I'm going to put the download wherever I've downloaded. So I'm going to import this file. I've chosen this file. So th this will obviously, you know, tell you, um, you want to do uh, certain steps. So you just need to click next, 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 because it will automatically will take care automatically everything. So we don't need to really put any effort over here. So let's, I mean, it's just trying to read the file and trying to load all the records that we have got. Yeah, it has got so as you could see the artifact name, PZ Hurt, operator, Pega Hurt admin, and uh, everything that you see, right? Whatever we have created, it's already uh, taken care. So I don't want to go for this option at the moment because I just wanted a simple import at the moment. So I'll just click on next. Now that I see, you know, the files is already there, whatever I wanted to see. And these are the uh, history classes and the other work classes which uh, uh, tells which table it belongs to all these things. So now you quickly review it and then you go click on next. So basically that was the schema that it was showing. Now, see, as you could see, it, it, it told, okay, from this schema that is trying to import, right? Now, uh, don't get confused with this total record four over here. It will actually tell you what, how many rec uh, rules um, it is going to import in, in, in the next step. So I clicked on the next step. Now it will tell you how many rules it is going to import. 
see how you see this total record 784 that's how you gonna know these are the these many records we have created in in in, in the uh, dev environment and we are moving it to here now slowly as in when the records move it, it increase the calculation and once it's done that's that's all that's where the ma magic starts and then we start working from another environment also right now uh, now that it moved uh, 784 so let me uh, click on done now another thing which i need to do so you definitely know what is the uh, you know operator id or sorry what is the um, um, access group that you have uh, got right so what i will do is just to show you guys i am going to search that access group and i am going to um, add that access group so it will be pz hut administrator right so i have uh, click on that application access group and then the moment I click on save I will log off and log in great uh, because obviously I put the administrator now I'll show you I'll go to dev, dev environment I mean as in dev studio and I'll show you the application which is pg hut ideally it's supposed to be pg hut right here you go this is the magic which I was talking about now the product has successfully uh, imported so if you see if you go to the definition you can find all the rules everything that that is there uh, you would find everything and also uh, the moment you import in a higher environment yeah obviously we never uh, um, you know, keep any unlocked rule set in the higher environment. But yeah, people who are practicing in the uh, virtual network and all, yeah, they can feel free to do anything that they want. But as you could see, everything looks same, right? Now, if I go to case type, there should be three, right? Account and customer and onboarding. Now, I'll just probably quickly run one thing. Um, uh, last time in my last video, I have I've talked about superclass data transform, right? Where I just created a simple one. Let me uh, show you if that is working or not. If I remember my CIF ID was one two three. What I'll do is for customer I'll give one two three. Uh, it will only show me customer details, and for account I'll give one two three. It will show me um, uh, both customer and account details. See, can you see this ma magic? It's working uh, for this one, and it's also working. Uh, should work for account. Let let me quickly uh, test. So that's how we do a quick uh, shakedown testing and the higher environment to make sure. See. How you see customer and account details the super class data transform video which i have shared and also it has got onboarding which i have created um, in my first video when i have actually created an application and you you see everything everything you know starting from data type to uh, data classes even i'll show you the class everything has already been imported so you see this uh, to data type i've created also i'll show you the class See how you got uh, XYZ uh, PZ Hut work and you got uh, these classes and also you got the data classes. So everything you, you, you would have you know seen right now. This is how you would import and export your entire application from one environment to another one. Hope you all are clear now about the concept and I hope this video will help you in future. Please do leave me a comment or email me if you want me to cover another unique concept. Do share with your friends who is learning Pega or don't know about this concept so they can also be benefited, right? Remember sharing is caring. And for more concept and videos, please do like and subscribe to my channel. See you in next video. Thank you everyone.